In today's video, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you for taking the time to support the channel. My name is Hello Good Game. Pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena deck guide video in which I will be showcasing my latest version of Mono White Milky Smooth. Breaking down the deck list in depth, discussing both the strategies and synergies held within the deck in hopes of giving you a deeper understanding of how to pilot the brew effectively and efficiently, okay? Moving on into our Mythic Rank gameplay footage demonstrating against the best decks as well as players in game. Finally, concluding with our wrap up thoughts, deck review, and channel news. Again, if you wanna help out, show some support. It's really easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and it makes a big difference. Leave a thumbs up, a little like see poo goes a long way. If you have any thoughts and concerns about the deck, hit us up in the comments below. You can subscribe to the channel for future content, it's banging. And of course, the community Discord is open if you ever want to stop by and make some new friends. Cheers, let's check out the new deck. It's a new lap record! Oakley Milky Smooth Murders at Karlov Manor Edition uh, is really taking it home. We're in the top 1000 with this deck. Uh, and not really struggling um, considering how aggressive the current meta is. We're in standard best of one with a 60 card uh, deck. Believe it or not, 2.1 average mana value on 21 land, right? So a pretty light curve, but the deck uh, is very aggressive and low to the ground as well. And even inflated with that mana value because we're not ever going to cast this knight for five, right? So it's much cheaper than, well, not much, but a little bit cheaper than it appears. So uh, new cards in the deck. The 10th district hero for two mana as a two three we can pay two, collect evidence two. so this is the exiling of cards from our graveyard with total mana value equal to two okay uh it's gonna become a four four and gain vigilance <laughs> it's pretty good all right uh furthermore we can pay three after we've paid two um collecting evidence four it will now become a five five and then uh it's also a legendary with a different name uh, which doesn't really matter. So only, you know, get one of them that far because of legendary rule, but it's there's only two in decks and so not problem, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, and then other creatures you control have indestructible, which is pretty cool uh, as well for the deck as a whole. Sunfall is typically the field wipe you'll see, but still just for like brute force attacks and then their defenders uh you don't really matter because now you're not losing your board state really that's kind of the, the main idea here not necessarily protecting from the field webs but if it's like a depopulate or a path of peril whatever you know we'll take it um so that's pretty cool those can be done at instant speed which is really nice and allows us uh some additional synergy with the brutal cathar day night cycle okay so uh, if you're unfamiliar for three mana as a two two when it enters the battlefield exile creature and opponent controls and of course, when it transforms into itself, that will trigger again, right? So we want to be uh, playing this day bound, grabbing one of their goodies, uh, not casting, having it go night bound, and then double casting, having it go day bound, not casting, night bound, and just repeat that process as many times and just keep clawing away uh, at their creature base, right? So the district hero will allow us to spend our mana base on turns where we're not casting creatures, right? Uh, we don't have flash in deck, so this will allow us to still utilize that available mana on the turn while also capitalizing now on that day-night cycle in a similar fashion as the recruitment officer would, a one mana 2-1 that can pay for allowing us to look at the top cards of our library, uh, four of them, and uh, we get to reveal a creature with mana value three or less from among them, putting it into our hand, the rest in bottom in random order, right? So uh, again, this is a great way for us to be spending our mana on turns where we're not casting creatures and sending the board state to night, allowing us to next turn double cast, sending it back to day, grabbing another one of their creatures, okay? Um, furthermore, you know, it's a mono white deck, so we're building around Adeline. It's a three mana power equal to the number of creatures under your control, toughness four with vigilance. Whenever you attack, create a one, one human that's also tapped and attacking, pretty cool. We will also be utilizing, uh, for the most part, the human uh, archetype within our creature base to capitalize on the Copper Coat Vanguard. A two mana, two, two, 
other humans you control get plus one plus zero and have ward one very nice as a non-legendary that can stack we will also be utilizing a lord effect within the intrepid adversary for two mana a three one with lifelink as it enters the battlefield we may pay two any number of times collecting that many valor counters creatures we control get plus one plus one equal to the number of valor counters on the intrepid adversary okay so this is again a really nice way to not only sustain ourselves against the other aggro decks via the life gain but also just push up our field state uh, increasing our damage output as well we have protection in the deck through the screvel defector might a one mana one one with toxic one that can't be uh sorry cannot block that can pay one phyrexian white so either a white land or source of mana or two life tapping itself choosing a color another creature we control will gain toxic one and hexproof from the chosen color as well as now being unblockable from that color so this is great as protection it's also great for the evasion it provides okay we will also utilize thalia Guardian of Thraben for two, a 2-1 two, with first strike. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Taxing our opponent's removal is the name of the game, okay? We'll utilize Hopeful Initiate for one mana as a 1-2 with training whenever it attacks. If there is another attacking creature with greater power, the Initiate will receive plus one, plus one. Furthermore, we can pay three to remove two plus one plus one counters from creatures we control to destroy target artifact or enchantment. So some nice removal there alongside the Brutal Cathar, right? Non-creatures with the Initiate, creatures with the Cathar, Planeswalkers can just go away. I hate you. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, some more goodies in the deck. Warden of the Inner Sky, two copies of this for one mana. Uh, as long as it has three counters on it, it will have Flying and Vigilance. You can tap three untapped creatures and or artifacts you control to put a plus one plus one counter on it and scry one at sorcery speed. So, you know, this is actually pretty cool and not the worst thing you can do if there's nothing else to do with your time. And in this build, it is a preferred, like you're going to play a creature. There's no haste in deck, right? So uh, you play a creature, it's got summoning sickness. You can just tap that creature with summoning sickness so you're still getting some use out of it uh if you don't need to block with it okay um so you know that's kind of what we're working with there uh the bunny is great its power and toughness are equal to the number of non-land permanents we control for two mana so you know this is going to um be quite formidable as the game goes on which is nice and uh i believe we talked about the knight as well for five mana as a four four with convoke Entering the battlefield, you'll reveal the top six cards of your library if you've convoked it. Um, and then you'll get to grab uh, up to two creatures with mana value less than uh, X, where X was the number of creatures used to convoke. And you get to put those cards into your hand, the rest in bottom in uh, random, which is great. And then you shuffle, which is uh, super duper cool, allowing us to uh, utilize our creature base as... Uh, a mana base which is nice with the convoke uh again like the warden getting value from creatures that have summoning sickness that are just sitting there doing nothing right like uh we can play one drops and then now use those same one drops for the night right this is quite oh great simba <laughs> and then you know utility lands in the deck with seat of the emperor um we have the cavern of souls to make our creatures uncounterable the foundry is an attacker and um like i said the removal through the seat here uh which is quite nice with some basics to make sure that we can you know curve out quite nicely uh the average mana value is very very low uh all things considered and um really just doing well within the current meta um with uh you know a beloved deck of mine over the last oh lord knows how long so i hope you enjoy as well the latest version uh Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Torture your cats as well. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Uh, enjoy today's gameplay. Thank you for watching. Let's roll out. On the draw. That's a lot of land. We only have 21 land in deck. Um, most of which apparently is in our opening hand. We'll never draw another land in the entirety of the game. Right? 
right? All right. Let's throw down our sky, and then they think we're a Boros deck too, right? I think my wrist just exploded. Oh! <laughs> Dang, dude. Ah. Oh. Ouchies. Um, there's no attack. I'm gonna tap everything though, right? They have a resolute reinforcements. But then if we tap everything, they reinforce. And then it's a recruiter or a war leader's call, and we get absolutely bashed. So that's not good. But what are we defending? We can't defend anything. The Boros deck is good. And they're on the play, which, let's be honest, is a bit of a help. It's, uh, it's not a bad thing. There's the reinforcements. Yes, 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 yes. Third land? Uh-oh. They could sanguine us for the long con or just a convoke with the knight, which is my game plan. So no convoking. Interesting. Now, this is a strange bank. Human. Go, go, Gadget. I think we're okay for one more turn. I'll allow it. I don't think they want to defend this either. So they might even let the token hit. I don't know. Which is good for us. They let this compound for next turn. Oh! A recruiter. A war leader's call. Neither! Rock and roll! Epicure's good. Allows them to continue to cycle if they need. They're doing it now. Okay. They're tapped out. We are tapped out. They could attack. They do. Wow. These one, two, uh, four, five, six, seven. Counting's hard. Vanguard out. So we're hitting for... Because they have one blocker. It's going to block... Well, we could have it not block Adeline. In which case, it would block the four. And we would not hit with the mic damage, right? So we'd hit for... One, two, three. Eight is eleven. Twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen only. Down to one. If we make Adeline unblockable to red. Fourteen. Right? Because it goes to eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Let's grab Vigilance. That's good. And then next turn, right? Uh, I will not tap out. I would rather just have some defenders here. 
A land. Do we get it? I think we do. Nice. Easy peasy. On the draw. It's okay though. Nice turn one. An even better turn two, and well, are they gonna play a high priority creature? No. Well, maybe. But I think it'll be too late at that point. What? Am I in the wrong format? Is this an alchemy card? Well, the for gun. In the top three cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Just send eight. Choose both. Okay. I've not seen this card played. Err. Ice chili. Let's put in our damage. Yeah, it's got to be the uh, reanimator deck with squirming emergence. Uh oh. It's not a good card to exile because when it re enters, they get the ability again. And I don't think that will be very good. They want to trade, that's fine. Keeping that um, uncounterable land to ourselves until we need it. Boundary in play if we need the emergency attacker, get the summoning sickness off it, right? And here comes the emergence. <laughs> Dang it, Randy! Where's that Thalia? When you, well, actually, they had the land, so. <sighs> There's still a match somehow. Pulling just creatures out at will now. Mm. <laughs> nice, dude. Very good. Blessed be thy turn four portal. Hallowed be thy destruction. Into a Rex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Nice, homie. I see you. Titan, cool, 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 cool. That way I don't have to be worried that you don't have anything else, right? It's good to know that there's more. I mean, there's a world in which we can win because they do need 10 poison counters. If we can continually open up our attack lanes and just push. Because the damage probably won't be an issue if our life gain's left alone. Two of them! I didn't know they had a second! So that's game. <laughs> the descent trigger active as well for both modes of the card. 
Good value for two mana. More draw, some discard. Um, very cool. I like it, right? I'm glad I didn't just scoop up right away. We kind of got to see it out. Uh, let's continue to pour on value. Woof. No blocks. No more, no more, no more. Great game, homie. They had the, the win through the toxic anyways, right? So Facing off against the Shuffler. Finally, I'll get some revenge for the whole community. I need to mulligan, though. That's a bad hand. This is better. Hello. I've been paying off the Shuffler for years now, so this match should go off without a hitch, yeah? <laughs> Is that how you do it, HGG? Yeah, topdeck.exe. Um, and then turn I shuffle on. I think we are safe to hit for one. Value out. It could still be a cut down, right? What does this thing do? I don't even know, bro. Sacrifice it or turn creature card from your grave to the battlefield? Okay. That's actually pretty cool. And we don't really have an attack. Play the bunny. I'll allow it, because we can play it and the bunny. Yeah? What are they discarding here? Milling? Okay, so this is random. They don't get to choose. And they're oh, choosing me because my scry. They take my might. Bully! Is back! <laughs> nice. Maybe we go here first, though. Before the bunny. Grab the ward. And then just push up Adeline a little bit more. Yeah. Smash Adelphia. They block the might on the 2-3. Oh, they're double blocking? The ward. Well, they have mana. Okay, just single block. Killing the might. The scrabble, right? Could have kept it in hand and played it after this ability. That might have been better. Taking Thalia is not bad either. Could be slowing them down enough. Okay, okay. Might had summoning sickness, so I couldn't have used it. Ooh, that's a good card. Can I have a Brutal Cathar real quick? Brutal Cathar off the top. All right. New card in play. Nice. Um, I guess you're not terrible. I guess these could have, this one could have stayed back, whatever. We still have our 14. I don't, uh... I don't think it matters! Good game, homie.
Keeping seven. Let's uh, start out with a human land. Warden out. Hello, good game. Sorry on the slow start. Stuff on the side. Many apologies. It's a, just in tribute of Christmas 666. One of my biggest fans. Top. Bunny! Let's hit for a one. Cool, 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 cool. And then, again, human will just start convoking. Forest, plains. Could be sunfall. I hope not. Maybe an enchantment deck. What's going on over here? It is, it is, it is. Yes, the files are in the computer. Human. Ash Ketchum. You are good, and you are also quite good. You are nice, but I think you are better. Like, they're going to take the bunny right now, and the mite at this point, you know, it's like, going to be too late! You know? There it is, yeah. You know? They leave the bunny, they take the knight. That's so interesting. What else is over there, homie? Lever. Okay. And, but, oh, but wait! Kuma, uh, not a Kumana. What's it called? Machiko. Or, that's good too. Audacity's never bad. Never find a dwarf! Let's just continue digging. Looking for a brutal Cathar. Bonnie's there to block. Really? Adeline's great. Copper coat can help bash. I didn't expediate it a right. And you know what? I probably won't be blocking, so let's take the damage now while I can get it. And take the life back that they uh, gained last turn. Hopefully we can get maybe our sixth land too. I don't know. This is like, we might be dead by then, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Tapping out for a double draw. Pretty good. Hopefully they're both lands. No Calyx yet. We're lucky here. I mean, what do you mean? It's right in my hand now. <laughs> We will lose if they play that card, I think. It's so good. And I haven't been able to find my Brutal Cathar yet, so. That's also not great. Mabachicos! <laughs> oh, here it is! <laughs> yeah. Remember that time you didn't want to block with your bunny? I bet you do now! They don't attack, hallelujah. Should we go all in? Yes, yes, that's the play. That's the play. We go all in here, don't we? This is how many? Three? We could reduce it for two with an Adeline? Smash Adelphia. We can't win this game the slow way. Let's see where we land. Take the life gain. Big money, big money, no whammies. We uh, are still on the edge here. We've got a defender. They only have two life, so there's no 
life gain this turn through a Machiko. Uh, they need that life gain without summoning sickness. Katilda from the grave could be a thing. It's an enchantment on a creature that already exists. Ooh, what's that take? Adeline or the bunny? Hmm, options. Or the hopeful initiate. The one that can destroy enchantments. So what if we go like this? There's so many options here, right? We can use the warden to grab a plus one, plus one. Then Hopeful can kill Calyx. Or we just attack for lethal, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I think we just have lethal and we don't even have to destroy things. But we could also, and I think that would be better. Remove a blocker, right? Favorable attack, no life gain. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Not too shabby. So first it's the shuffler, now it's your mom. What the, what the? Going first, though. That's so nice of her. Inapropes, dude. Inapropes. Nice turn, too. I like that. They're tapped out, so we'll just first main phase it. Give her two to 19! Gaining life makes me think not convoke and control instead, right? If we see a blue, it's Jazzica control. This portal makes me think it's back to convoke. That's interesting. Well, something else, I guess. It's good, okay. Well, double strike is great. They probably have angel fire ignition. They're probably an absolute Chadadelphia. And, uh, well, we're just going to get after it. Yeah. Don't do it. There's no angel fire in their deck. Just forget about it. Okay. There's no need to worry. They say they can live and do it next turn. They're fine. They'll just wait. Conniving for it? Tossing a creature. That's Usually this deck doesn't have enough creatures. Phenomenal blocker. Let's push Adeline up further as well. First strike. Pretty good, and we've got defenders, right? Angel fire is gas, though. Okay, they need a land now to cast it. Still a lot of damage if they can find trample or something. Just like without the life gain, or some form of life gain, with, or without the. Tra I don't know what else there is. Stuff, I'm sure.
There's the trample. Okay. We have 20 life. And if they don't have life gain, we're winning the tempo. The vigilance. Oh, it's not. I thought I had trample. Just vigilance? What? No trample. I'm thinking of something else. Huh. That is a, a literal ton of damage. For one at instant speed. What would they have? Or just take this. It's only four damage. But if they're saving the runer, that means this isn't getting the life gain, and it's far less life gained for them. This will die, bringing this to four, and it will die. We could do this instant speed if they block here. That could be better. We could also foundry. I like the foundry. Nice. Very nice. Once again, I've dominated your mom. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right. Um, as long as we find our third land, I guess, right? Mono Black is a good deck, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Whatever. They probably just take it immediately. It could be the life gain deck and they're not focused on removal. Mm, I doubt it. it. Looks like they're a little bit focused on removal. Human. So they can't use that black counter spell. <laughs> yeah. And now we do have protection on the Vanguard with the Might, so... That's cool. As long as they don't take them both in one foul swoop. They probably do, though. Preacher. Cute. Give her two. Thank you. It's a start. It's a start. I will flip tonight so hard if you play Shieldred. Removal on the might, absolutely. Take that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is good, taking Adeline. I assume might target the knight, though. That's good value. Okay, okay. We can just, like, bash Adelphia here. We're going all in. Hey, thanks for the support, homie. Appreciate that. Gordon! Gifting his 78th sub to the channel. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. Woof. Deepest Betrayal active. Life gain is good. I'm an aggro deck, dude. Flip tonight. 
right? Hey, thanks for the follow. Still push our luck. Maybe we should have attacked, kept that out of line there. Let's see if we can cycle this brute. Hey, Tuesdays, what's going on? Me, yeah. The floof, the floof, the floof is on fire. Did I not draw? They played a shielded. It became my turn. Was this not in my hand last turn? Oh, they forced a discard and this is what we drew. Oh, good for you. That's actually really good and we're always gonna have to do that. Okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. That's really good. I guess we should attack here, though, right? Simba, what's going on, bro? Like, I want to stream. I'm the stream cat now, huh? It's the cameras over here, though, if you're going to try to farm subs. Shook it out of here! Of course, there's another one. Seba, you are so distracting. How am I ever going to win this match with you? Big hit, down to seven after the draw. We need a creature here and then another creature off the top. Hey, that's actually pretty good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Then we can take, probably shoulder it. I don't know where the bat, this is all just bat. Bat news. <laughs> the life gain is gonna be a big help. I can't believe they had a second shoulder it. Oh my God. It's not bad. It's not great, though. Okay. Life gain active. Blocker. Available. Seven life, though, is, like, not great. You know? And the flip. So what do we want to take... Probably the back god. It puts out so much damage. We only have the warden to block. 
Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So a token, a 3-2 token. That's useless too. Okay, okay, okay. We're good until they get the virtue out. And, you know, that's maybe a reason not to take shouldered as well. Because they have more of them. No back gods in the grave. You see what I mean? Say, so I'll get them. If it flies, I'll get it. I got reach, baby. I got reach. Off you go. Okay. Take a token. What? Because they know they can get it back. It's not great. It is our draw engine. Death Touch takes it. Lance sucks. Yeah, we have protection with the might, which is going to be really good. So that can give us lethal when the time is right. Or it's just protecting our life gain. And we're going to try to sustain ourselves here. Losing that draw engine is not great, but... It's okay. We go to night. And then we can go to day and take our night back. Hey, not on the keyboard. Not on the keyboard Tuesdays. Come on. That's why I lose all my games, obviously. Any misplay I make is just the cat. <laughs> we both have empty hands, so Lily just pluses. That's pretty good. So, 5, 10, 11, it's not lethal. If they want to protect Lily, it's going to cost them. Just taking it. Huh. I'm going to keep this in hand in case it's a Gix's command, right? They bring a shouldered back. So this will take that shouldered. It's nighttime though. We aren't taking anything. I doubt they double cast on a single draw. It could be a command though. But this will be a three. So they wouldn't, you know, it's not a 2-2. Two -two. It's a little different. Shouldered. Maybe they take my Intrepid for immediate life gain. I don't know. Probably just uh, Shelly. Adeline doesn't seem right. Up to six. What did they draw? Oh, land. Oh, no. Oh, no. We did it Tuesdays. Nice win, bro. Down to 10. Um, block, block. We hit for five, six. No, but they go to seven. Push to six. 
make it unblockable. And just take lethal. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's top 1000. That's no joke, right? Well, I mean, I don't care what the other guys say about you, HGG. I think you're all right. Your decks are pretty good. You seem to have a, a nice rank most of the time, so I guess. I'm just kidding. It's Adeline. You know, it's just going to bash. It's the, the Lord effects on the humans. It's the removal of other creatures with the Cathar, right? The additional value that the Knight brings to the top end of the match. Protection and invasion through the Might. Um, taxation through Thalia. It's just all so good. And now we can give the whole crew Indy if we want. Um, you know, as well as an additional outlet to spend mana uh, to cycle the Cathar, which is really quite nice. Bunny, star of the show for a while now. Uh, which is quite nice, but enjoying the 10th district. I think it's cool as well other cards that we considered in the deck All right, we got the veteran more life gain guardian can you know grain indestructible discard for the uh, collect evidence But you know, these are just ideas more protection through invasion uh, Additional value through Kellen. I think that that's pretty good considering you know our, our mana value on cards additional removal ossification non creature based though I am never going to get rid of you, am I? <laughs> uh, the Peacekeeper. Now, this could be really good. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of control decks right now. It is just a lot of aggro. So, you know, the Peacekeeper is effective there, but I'd say better against the control decks all in all. Uh, Evangelist didn't need it. I think that this is, you know, really a contender for adding to the... Samba! It's a new laugh record! To the deck. Just like, I'm going to step all over the place. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the Street Eyes is more so here for the unblockability. I like that, just allowing us to attack, not worry about defenders. But again, you know, whatever. Uh, Archangel, if we needed to mix in some additional Planeswalkers against control decks, because I find that's like a good way to help slow them down, because it's like uh, field wipes, but they're not now, they're not, you know, the Planeswalkers remain, right? You've got additional value you can work from. The Vindicator, uh, maybe even too slow against the other aggro decks. We are better off just to outpace them. Uh, but an idea. The Emperor, again, against other control decks. AO, you know, the Exile. just It just dominates this. And even, you know, if you're playing against, like, Kumano's going to, like, ah! Uh! Virtue could go, could go. Thalia is nice, but, I mean, maybe you just even run both of them. I Like, this is not bad for the deck whatsoever. Uh, and Steel Seraph if he needs more life gain. But Gleeful Demolition is so popular, and this is three mana that they can just easily dunk on. Which is wild, right? So, you know, that's kind of what we're thinking about for the deck. Uh, as far as new cards that we didn't get to include, uh, there was the, um, the Elephant, the Gatekeeper. Now, you know, I think that this could go but so many humans and we're building around the copper co right so you know if we didn't have a human build i think that this would be really good and we've got the might we've got the bunny the gatekeeper would be good as well um so you know maybe white takes uh, a turn from human base to non-human we'll see uh, as future sets come out we're always looking forward to it right so thank you for watching if you have any input Comments are down below. Thank you uh, for your support. Truly really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord, drop by, say hello. But most importantly, have an absolute magical day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon in the next. Hey.